Hello. Today we're going to be taking a look at a copy of Circe written by Madeline Miller. This was published in 2018 by Little Brown and Company and was one of the number one New York Times bestsellers in 2018. This is a very, very popular book. Um, it sold hundreds of thousands of copies across the United States. Estimates are actually about a million copies internationally. Um, received lots and lots of critical acclaim and has actually been optioned for a miniseries that is currently being produced by HBO. So as far as new classics go, this certainly seems to fall into that group. It's a very, very popular book. Um, you've probably actually heard me talking about this because if you've seen my last video, uh, in one of my latest book haul videos, I have a signed first printing of Circe that I uh, show in that video. Um, and we're actually, I have those copies just to compare them side by side here because this is actually a different copy of Circe. Now these copies at first glance look very, very similar. One of them is a signed first printing, which we looked at in my last video. And this is actually a later printing. This is a 21st printing of the book. Now, you know as a book collector that I probably wouldn't just collect a, a 21st copy of a later printing like this unless there is good reason for it. Um, and these copies, as you can see, they're pretty much identical, but where the differences change is actually on the front of the earlier dust jackets, they talk about that it's a um, from by the New York Times bestselling author of The Song of Achilles. And then they clarify in the later printings, they replace that snippet and just say that it's a number one New York Times bestseller. So otherwise, the dust jackets are pretty much exactly the same. Um, but technically, this is a different copy of the book. And I wanted to talk about this one because this is actually an annotated copy of the book. Now, if you're not familiar with some of the terminology and what an annotated copy actually means, I'll just give a very quick high level uh, explanation of what some of these signatures and what that means. So a signed copy is usually a reference to a flat signed copy, meaning that the author is signed either on the title page or somewhere else on the book, just their signature. Uh, an inscribed copy would be where they have signed it. And there's also some sort of personal note from the author, meaning, you know, to John with all of my best wishes from the author. So that would be an example of, of an inscribed copy. And things like inscriptions are actually interesting because they add an extra element to the book that makes it harder for someone that's trying to forge your signature. They add a more personal note. So generally things like inscriptions um, do enhance the value. Um, similarly, um, you also could have what they would call a lined copy, which would generally mean that they've signed the book, but they've also taken generally the first line of the book or their favorite line from the book and put it somewhere early into the book, like on the title page. So again, things like that add an interesting element to it and make books uh, more collectible. A annotated copy though means that the author has gone through by hand throughout the book and actually made annotations, usually in the margins of the book, talking about elements within the story that stood out to them, things that they liked, um, things that they didn't like, maybe something they'd change. Um, just give some interesting references to that. So these are really rare, as you would expect. As a matter of fact, this is the only annotated book that I own. Um, if you're looking to buy annotated copies of popular books, um, you're probably not going to find them for sale. Um, generally speaking, you really only see an annotated copy. Um, really, the only time I've ever actually seen them was from charity auctions. So that's generally when you see um, these types of things happening is a charity has reached out to an author for an event and they inscribe or go in and do an annotated copy like this, trying to raise money for a charity. So usually once those books are purchased for charity, um, it's usually by a collector or someone that values it very highly. And so they really don't go up for sale. So this is a really interesting book. And that's why even though this is a later printing of the book, um, I wanted to take a moment and just kind of walk through and, and take a look at some of the annotations that are in here, just to sort of show you this book, because it's a very interesting piece. So just as an example, uh, when we talk about the book and, and how an annotated book is different, is if we look at the title page, as it has the title, but then it's been uh, what I was referencing where it's been lined, where it has a line from the book below there. Um, and then below there, you can see uh, an inscription where the book has been inscribed uh, coincidentally to me. And then if you turn the page to the dedication page, you can now see that the author has added in a note sort of clarifying some of the Greek behind this and sort of what it means to her in that dedication. So really interesting and sort of a very personal insight to it. And you know, the book isn't filled from page to page with tons and tons of notes, but as you go through and look at some of these, and as I'm doing close-ups, I'll try to show some snapshots of some of these, because there's a lot of interesting references in it. Some of them are talking about um, her background as a teacher and how that influenced things. 
um, ways that she was inspired as she read it by uh, mythology and ancient history. There's a lot of historical references and notes that are in here. Again, there's about 50 or 60 annotations throughout the book. Generally speaking, these are in the margins of most of these pieces. There's some interesting references to um, a line that the producers from HBO actually used when they were pitching to her, um, trying to buy the rice to the book to be able to produce the miniseries. So that's a really interesting and funny snippet that's in there. Uh, there's just a lot of really cool, interesting elements to this. I'm not going to cover them all in more detail, but I'm going to try to show just a couple of these in the video. And, you know, one that really stood out that I thought was hilarious is, you know, almost 200 pages in, she actually notates and shows a line that was originally the first line in the book. And she liked it and ended up keeping it, but it didn't actually end up getting used till almost 200 pages into the book. So it, it, it's, I really enjoyed going through this book and I've gone through it a couple times, very, very gently as you'd expect. Um, but it's really like reading a book and having the author sort of sitting there talking to you and sort of explaining some of their insights as, you know, as they were writing the book. So it's a very personal read through. And um, I, I can't tell you how happy and lucky I am to have a copy like this. Uh, not only annotated, but again, like I said, this, per this particular copy has been annotated for me. And if you're wondering how I, I got the copy, it's, well, it's pretty much exactly what I said. There was a charity event um, a few months back um, for this particular book where she had offered to annotate a copy of raising funds for some charity. And I happened to uh, win that auction. So that's how I got the copy. Um, I was actually, she was emailing me, letting me know where she was at. It took her a couple months to go in and do it. Um, but she communicated throughout, which was very sort of surreal and full transparency. But she filled it out, she shipped it to me, and I, I can't tell you how excited I am to, to have this copy. Um, additionally, there was a note with it, it's on her, um, on her letterhead here. And I won't go into that, but it, it does, um, she actually notates an interesting element on here that she had a lot of fun, she talks about as she annotated this copy, and that this is the only book of hers that she's ever annotated. So that was really cool because, you know, that means that this is a true one of a kind copy of this book. Not just that it's the only annotated copy of Circe ever, but she hasn't annotated her other book, which is um, The Song of Achilles, another uh, bestseller. So this is a, a real one of a kind piece. So for people that are collectors of, you know, Madeline Miller or enjoy her writing, I think they'll probably get a kick out of this video because it's such an interesting and cool piece. And so again, I feel very lucky to have it. I wanted to share it with you guys because, you know, it's such a unique piece. Um, I, I talk about in a lot of my videos about, you know, book values and things like that. And it, it's really, for the most part, impossible to try to estimate a value on something like this. And it's, I'm not saying that because it's some a priceless artifact. Uh, what I mean by that is just because, again, these types of things don't go on the market. These things generally aren't for sale. And when they are for sale, it's usually for charity. So, you know, you don't know how that can impact things on pricing. Um, but it is very collectible. It is valuable. Um, but I really, I have no intention of selling it. So I really don't know what kind of value to put on it. So I won't do that for the video here. But again, this is just a short video, but I just thought this was such a really cool book. So I hope you guys will enjoy it and, and taking a look at this. Um, yeah, so thanks so much for watching. I apologize, as usual, it's taken me a little while to do um, more videos. I do have another signed book haul that I'm looking at doing here in the near future. I've got some more books that I'd like to show. So I hope to see you again in the next video. And thanks so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment and a like. Um, that always is very helpful for the channel and gives us some extra visibility. So. Thanks again for watching. Have a great one.